On the 2nd of April, I spoke to you from the floor of the DA's Federal Congress in Midrand. At that time, I outlined the DA's vision to rescue our country at the 2024 election and the role that the DA would have to play in that. I said at the time that 2024 is going to be South Africa's moonshot election, where we achieve a giant leap forward by removing the ANC from power and replacing it with a new multi-party pact government composed of like-minded opposition parties. Just as with the original moonshot when humans achieved the seemingly impossible by sending a man to the moon for the first time, there were a lot of naysayers. They said that opposition parties are too egotistical to get around the same table. They said that we would never be able to put aside petty politics in order to put South Africa first. The naysayers were wrong. This coming Wednesday and Thursday, the multi-party pact will hold a historic national convention in Kempton Park. We will meet at the same venue where the Codessa negotiations successfully mapped a way forward for our country at a time of great crisis. This week, we have an opportunity to do so once again. To do what South Africans have always done best, get around the table, talk to each other, and rise above adversity. The convention will be independently chaired by the respected professor William Gumede and his capable team, who have worked on projects just like this in countries on the continent and around the world. One of the things that Professor Gamede has already taught us is that two of the most stable and rapidly developing countries in Africa, Mauritius and Cape Verde, have flourished under coalition governments. Our aim is to add South Africa to that list after the 2024 election. The National Convention, independently chaired and facilitated by respected experts, represents a major milestone for the multi-party pact. We have gotten to this point because for the past three months, the leaders of all of the parties involved have met every single week to painstakingly cultivate the common ground required for a convention. And we have indeed succeeded. In a further sign of progress, I'm also delighted that yet another political organization whose values align to ours has now joined the process. This past week, the independent South African National Civic Organization, ISANCO, became the next party that will attend the convention. The DA regards ISANCO's decision to join us as a major breakthrough. This party was previously part of the ANC Alliance and they broke away from the alliance in 2021 because of the ANC's failure to address the deep-rooted corruption that is tearing our country apart. In the 2021 election, this newly formed organization won council seats in former ANC strongholds. With the addition of our Sanko to the multi-party pact, it has added a party that shares our values and which has turned its back on the ANC. This sends a clear message to voters who are disillusioned with the ANC. The Moonshot Pact is the alternative government you have been waiting for. To former ANC voters who share our values and who are looking for a new political home, I say to you today, like I Sanko, your voice, your vote, and your future is welcome inside the multi-party pact to rescue South Africa. Arsenko's inclusion makes it clear for all to see that the pact is gaining momentum and systematically becoming greater than the sum of our parts. My fellow citizens, while the National Convention represents a major milestone, it is also an opportunity that we dare not squander. The Moonshot Pact has captured the public imagination 
like no other opposition project has ever done in the history of our democracy. And we dare not mess it up now. And that is why the Democratic Alliance is deeply committed to ensuring that the multi-party pact emerges from the National Convention with a meaningful agreement on how we will all work together to rescue South Africa. I've said from the very start that this must not just be an anti-ANC project. It must be a pro-South African project that tables real solutions to the urgent problems our country is facing. The parties involved in this process have already made some progress towards a minimum joint program of action. From the DA side, I can assure the people of South Africa that we will continue to act at the convention in the same good faith and spirit of cooperation and compromise that has gotten us thus far. It is my sincere hope that we will emerge from the convention with a document that articulates our shared values and the minimum policies a multi-party pact government would implement to fix the many problems plaguing our beautiful country. I ask that you, the people of South Africa, judge the convention on the basis of the solutions it will offer to you. Our country desperately needs a new government that will put an end to the suffering faced daily by thousands of learners who still use pit toilets at schools. It's time to end this disgraceful system, which recently claimed the life of four-year-old Langalam Viki, who drowned in a pit toilet. We need a new government that will alleviate the suffering of millions of South Africans who can no longer afford food to feed their families. Recently, we have seen horrifying cases, like that of Bongeka Buso, a 38-year-old mother from Butterworth, who killed her three children and committed suicide because they had no more food to eat. We need a new government that cares about farmers and farm workers who face surging crime every day and that cares about the small towns that have been broken down by an uncaring ANC government. If the multi-party initiative emerges with a compelling vision to reduce unemployment, end load shedding, grow our economy and tackle violent crime, then I ask that you get behind all of us. At the end of the day, this multi-party pact is not for politicians. It must be owned by the people of South Africa. It must be your pact, my pact, and our pact to rescue the country that we all love. And the most important thing you can do to help is to make sure that you're registered to vote in next year's election. It is such an easy and simple online process that takes only a few minutes. To start the process, simply visit check.da.org.za. That's check.da.org.za. For those 14 million South Africans who are registered but have not voted, check your registration status. For the 13 million South Africans who are not registered to vote at all, your country needs you now more than ever before. You need to be part of the solution. You may say that you are not interested in politics, but if anything, this last decade has shown us that politics is very interested in you. It has reached into your homes and switched off the lights. It's reached into your businesses and switched off the power. It has left sewerage running in your streets. It's left you vulnerable to crime and criminality. Our commitment as the DA to making this a pact for the people is also why the multi-party organization has sent letters to 115 different civil society organizations, inviting them to provide inputs on how we can together make a success of the convention. If the political parties emerge with an agreement on Thursday this week, we hope to engage civil society with the eye to holding a subsequent joint summit between the multi-party pact and the civil society organizations. I'd like to reiterate what I said in my speech 
at the Congress back in April this year. And I quote, to achieve the moonshot, we need a whole of society approach that builds an entirely new ecosystem of change, unquote. Slowly but surely, the multi-party initiative is building that new ecosystem that will sweep the ANC out of power. My fellow South Africans, this coming week is shaping up to be one of the most important in the history of opposition politics in our country. Months of hard work between a group of passionate and committed political leaders have now laid the foundation for a national convention to take place. This symbolizes that we have successfully built and gotten the rocket ship onto the launch pad. Now we must ensure that on Wednesday and Thursday, we have a successful launch of the mission to rescue South Africa. I wanna repeat, the DA is irrevocably committed to this project of building a multi-party alternative to the ANC. And we will play our part at the convention to ensure that the multi-party pact emerges with an agreement that offers real hope and solutions to the many problems our country faces. We have already made more progress on this project than many, many people predicted. And none of this would have been possible without the leaders of all the other parties. I want to thank the IFP for the way in which they have led from the front on this project. Mr. Schlabisa has been a pillar of strength in our negotiations so far. And it is thanks in no small part to the great leaders in the IFP that the moonshot is already well on its way in KwaZulu-Natal. Dr. Peter Grunewald has equally represented his party with aplomb, and I thank him for his integrity and his earnest engagements during all of our meetings. The same goes for the straight shooting Mr. Neil De Beer and Mr. Christopher Clarkson, who have brought fresh perspectives to the pact that have undoubtedly put their relatively new parties on a pathway to success. And to Dr. Zakile Luyenge, I say thank you for your courage in showing South Africans how we can move away from ANC failure towards a better future. The one thing all of the leaders share is the knowledge that the multi-party pact is our best chance ever to defeat the ANC and keep the EFF out of power. It is a chance that we dare not miss. Any party that chooses pettiness over the people to undermine the pact will be judged harshly in the light of history. Now is the time for us all to stand together and to rise to the occasion like never before. This coming week, we must together ensure a successful convention that sends the mission on its way to removing the ANC from power and inaugurating a new multi-party government in 2024 that will rescue South Africa. I'm excited about the prospects of this week and I hope that you are too. Thank you.